Uh, it's nice to see that we've got some citizens who've appointed themselves the overseers of health and safety in this in this country, and uh, are shaming anybody who uh, goes outside and does things that they don't believe they should be doing. Uh, like if you go to the beach, then you're essentially a mass murderer. Uh, it's interesting to see all of the uh, hatred for people who are going out and sick and tired of being shut in and shut down and locked in and locked down. And now they're just there. It's, it was Memorial day weekend. A lot of people went out and enjoyed it, went to the beach. Yeah. Uh, you know, conducting themselves in a way that is consistent with you know, the most, uh, the safest activities you can do when it comes to this virus. Well, like, you're outside, outside open air. Yeah. The, the the I mean, there's one study, I think it's from, from China, where they had over 7,000 cases that they studied, and I think one of them occurred outside. One? One. I mean, the, wow. The chances of it happening outside wow. are very, very low. It's, the, it's yeah. the type of thing that the government, from the beginning, should have been encouraging people to do. <clears throat> Go to the beach, you know, try to stay a little bit away from each other, maybe don't make out with random strangers on the street. But you know, stay. Oh well, you're really limiting what I like to do there. Then but I know that um, you're a big, you're you're <laughs> big into so this. Big this is into your world. Making out with people I don't know. Right. You know. Well, so. I, look, I can't eliminate it from everybody. Uh, I'm just saying, like, maybe limit it. <laughs> maybe try to limit it 20, 30 percent. You know, is that possible? Uh, man, that's okay. a lot. Well, we'll try to get. We'll try to see if we can figure out exactly what would <laughs> work right. for you and your yeah, lifestyle. We can negotiate. Yeah. But the point is, doing it outside. If you're gonna make out with someone, try to do it outside. Uh, the open air situation is a big deal, and it mm. seems to be one of the best uh, solutions to this when it comes to transmitting the the, uh, the virus. Now, there's some pictures you saw probably over the weekend. I think it was the it was the Ozarks where they yeah like, they were all jammed together in that pool party, <laughs> which by the way looked horrible <clears throat> to me for reasons completely unrelated to COVID nineteen. Yeah, I don't want to be that close to that many people ever in my life. Right. I, this isn't something that has nothing to do with the virus. Just please stay away from me. I, there's a <laughs> lot of guys with their shirts off and tiny bathing suits, and they're all cramped in together. <laughs> Looks awful for a hundred reasons. Mm -hmm. But so there is uh, the COVID-19 risk there. It is, is that something that could lead to an outbreak? It could. Most likely it won't, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like we all know, even in the peak of this thing, they were playing NBA and NHL games, and they were doing all of these things in these giant right. gatherings. And as far as I know, there are no known out, um, you know, major super spreader events that came out of the, that stuff. It does not mean that every time a lot of people get together, there's going to be mass spread. But it does happen in those situations. You know, mm -hmm. there's a funeral in Georgia. Famously, there was a choir practice in Seattle. You know, there looks like there was a decent amount of spread from from Mardi Gras. Um, there's a, it does happen. It's just not common. There was a an election in Wisconsin where. Yeah. They went to the vote, the polling yeah. booth, and that didn't spread it. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything there. Now, that's an interesting example, too, in that if you look <laughs> at the footage of that, right, no mm -hmm. one's standing within 10 feet of each other. And if we were going to go mm -hmm. and follow those sorts of rules, there's almost no chance of this becoming a big problem. There is the idea that, you know, the Ozarks was not what that voting situation was. First of all, it was it was in Wisconsin, so... It's probably cold because in yeah. my mind, it's always cold in Wisconsin, whether it's July or February. Uh, but it was probably cold. You're probably not going to get into a, a beach situation where everyone's, you know, in bathing suits next to each other. But like if you if you do if you take basic precautions, right, like the things that you would have done mm -hmm. for previous illness, if you were being careful about it, like if you knew someone was sick at work, you know, someone comes in and they're just sick, they're just coughing. You're, you say, okay, well, number one, maybe you should go home. Number two, let's just stay a little bit away from each other, right? Let's just like kind of back mm -hmm. off and like, I'm going to stay over here just so I don't, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to get passed to my kid. Those things that you always would do when you assumed someone was sick, probably a good idea to do now, right? And if you do those things, there's almost no chance that it's going to be, I mean, we're going to have a massive re, uh, you know, the flaring up is going to occur again, unless something mm -hmm. dramatic happens with mutation or whatever. Yeah. But this is the thing. This weekend, it was all about shaming people who went to the beach, which is again one of the safer activities you can engage in. Then there was then there was the instance in Staten Island, New York, where um, they literally chased a woman out of a grocery store <laughs> because she wasn't wearing a mask. Mm. I mean, this is 
you can't even understand what they're saying for all the bleeps because they're swearing so much at her, yelling the F word at her, calling her all <laughs> kinds of names. I think they call her a hoe at one point. They call her every name in the book. She's not wearing them. They're all wearing masks. So shouldn't they be protected? Uh, they're, you're protected from her. You got the mask on, <laughs> right? right? Isn't that why you're wearing the mask? But here's what happened at that grocery store. <laughs> Is that crazy? And in one case, the guy's pulling down his mask so he can yell at her louder. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Moron. Uh, I, you know, I don't. I've been to a lot of uh, grocery stores. <laughs> if you look at me, you know I'm around food a lot. And I haven't seen anything like this. Have you? I don't even know. I, and and I mean, I'm not a mask, and I haven't. It's a little bit different yeah. in Texas, right? I yeah. guess maybe. Um, but it, it is a. It does seem to be happening. Mm. And that's the, that was in Staten Island, you know, New York City, part of New mm-hmm. York City. So it's a, maybe they're a little bit more, a little more uh, sensitive. Tense. My understanding too is that is a rule of the store. Now, as a person who you know believes in the you know the I, the power of uh, private business and ownership, yeah, I you do can institute that rule. They can in your institute business that rule if you want they to. Can. And mm-hmm. you should leave if you don't want to deal with it, uh, mm-hmm. because they can make a rule of, uh, you know, that, that's something Costco's that a private that. business can do, right? I, yeah. I'm okay with it, mm-hmm. although I don't necessarily agree with it. Uh, you know, it is something that they should be able to do. That has nothing to do with what, what that clip is, though. The, right. the, the people screaming that's just ridiculous. in front of the frozen Brussels sprouts is a little over the top. I, yes. People shouldn't be acting that way for really any reason. And, you know, this is something where people are, we obviously don't know everything about this virus. We obviously don't know what's going, you know, what's right and what's wrong going forward. We're going to do our best. And the fact that you go in there and you are going to get screamed at by a bunch of annoying, you know, do-gooders is really an irritating mm-hmm. process.